Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing video and initial review of the Arena Gaming Desk. I went ahead and bought off Amazon. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So this desk cost me $205 plus uh, tax and shipping costs. And uh, when it arrived, it's, uh, it's pretty heavy. It's around 70 to 100 pounds. So they actually have some tape on here that says caution, over 70 pounds. So you may need two people to go ahead and carry it inside for you. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing process and see what this desk actually looks like. Now I think I'm just going to turn it to the side and then pull everything out from here. It seems like that will be the easiest and quickest way for me just to get everything out of the box. So it looks like I just about have this pulled out here and all the tape is cut. Nope, not yet. colors I think the other colors are more expensive this was 205 some of the ones I was looking at they got up to like uh, $300 so this one was the cheapest and this is oh I love this green color this is beautiful was it neon green very vibrant and eye popping and here we go we have some logo on here so wow so here is the bottom of the stand and this is all metal, as you can hear as I hit it. Oh, so this is going to be a heavy-duty desk. I like it. Let's get the other leg out and unpackaged um, here. And um, one of the reasons I wanted to buy this desk was because it was very wide. Uh, I will be able to put uh, all my PlayStation 4s, my uh, Xbox One, my Switch, all up top with me on the desk, as well as my capture card and everything else I need. As opposed to having a little bit smaller desk where you can't fit everything on top. Plus, I'll have room for a larger mouse pad. And that will be nice. So what is in here? I don't know. Uh, maybe all the extra, I don't know. That's a mat. Well, this is unexpected. Seems like a... Yeah, this is a giant mat. Interesting. So, I mean, with this, you don't even need a mouse pad because this is pretty much like a, the similar material as a mouse pad. You'll just be able to move your mouse anywhere on this material, and this will go on top of the desk, and uh, this will be nice. So, it's just like a mouse pad material. That will be very, very nice. Keep yourself in the game. So let's put this to the side. Try not to get that dirty. And let's get some of this stuff out of here. And at any point in time you want to go ahead and view this desk on Amazon, check the Amazon link down below in the description. Check it out for yourself. So here are all my nuts and bolts and the instructions to go ahead and assemble. I'm thinking this won't be too hard to assemble seeing how there's not too many parts. Oh, these are heavy too. I think that's a common theme. Everything is heavy. At least I know it's metal instead of like uh, some kind of wood. So, cool. All right, so that's everything here. Let's put all this stuff to the side now and flip over the top. Let's get this. So this I 
and honestly is lighter than I thought it would be compared to everything else. Where is my knife here? Must go underneath the desk. We'll see. I'll find out in a second. Here. Okay. Is everything kind of like modular where I have to screw it together? I'm going to be putting this together to the left and right side. I need some room over here. Let's put this down. So this must be the centerpiece then. Yeah, the, uh, it must just be a, a way to package this and ship it. I mean, this is pretty large, so... I mean, uh, it modular. It's probably a little bit easy for the company. Okay, so last piece. assembly guy real quick and get this together. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. Maybe for uh, all the wires coming off your computer. You can fold it up in here and it doesn't look so bad. Alright, so we have a couple Allen wrenches in here so we will need no more tools than what is provided here. So I'm pretty much done with the installation process. All I have to do is go ahead and put that mat on the top of it. But this is how the bottom looks like after you fully assemble it. You'll have this little mesh right here. And uh, this should be for your cable management and everything else. Uh, so these holes on the bottom right here will be where your monitor cable comes um, from and uh, connect to your PC. So that's why everything is there. And your cable management should be very good with this. So here is the desk completed. This mat just goes over the top of the desk. And uh, as you can see, this entire thing is just like one giant mouse pad. I really like this material. Uh, it'll give you a wide range of motion if you're going to be gaming just on this specifically. If you have a mouse pad, you can just plop it down on here. Then you have holes in here in the material on each side for three different monitors. So that will make it easy. and. Uh, it's very, very sturdy since it has like a, such a wide base to it and it's so heavy. I have it on like a carpet right now too. So, I mean, if you're going to be gaming like this, you won't have to worry about the small little movements of it. As you can see, my carpet right there. But on the bottom of it, it does have like wheels that spin on it. So if you want to increase one side and lower one side just to make it a little bit more level, you definitely can do that. I am very happy with this desk so far. It's pretty wide. If you look at my arm uh, base right now, uh, what would I say about five feet? Almost six feet? Maybe five and a half feet? Ah, let's go with five feet. It's pretty wide. I'm going to have my PS4 up here, my Xbox, my computer, my monitors, and uh, everything's going to look really, really great. I would recommend this desk if you have $200 to spend. I really like this. This is the best desk I've ever had so far. 
and I think you'll enjoy it too. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.